Hello, and welcome back to AI Tivity. In this video, we'll be looking at one of the four basic categories of AI, which is called theory of mind. In the next five minutes, I will be discussing what theory of mind is, how it works, and its applications in various fields. Let's get into it. First, let's define what theory of mind is. The theory of mind is the ability to attribute mental states to oneself and others, including beliefs, intentions, and desires. In humans, this ability is developed early in life, and it is an essential skill that we use every day for social interaction, communication, and empathy. But have you ever wondered if machines could have a theory of mind too? Let's dive into the world of AI theory of mind. Artificial intelligence. AI is a rapidly advancing field that aims to create machines capable of performing tasks that typically require human intelligence. From beating human players at complex games like chess and go, to driving cars and diagnosing diseases, AI has made incredible progress in recent years. However, one critical aspect of human intelligence that AI still struggles to understand is our emotions and intentions. That's where AI theory of mind comes in. It refers to the ability of machines to understand the mental states of humans and other machines. Imagine a machine that can read your mind and anticipate your needs before you even express them. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, it's not as far-fetched as you might think. Researchers are working on various approaches to achieve AI theory of mind, including natural language processing, NLP, algorithms that can analyze and understand human language. By developing models that can represent and reason about beliefs, desires, and intentions, machines may one day be able to interact with us in a more human-like way. One approach is to use machine learning algorithms to learn from human behavior and infer their mental states. For example, researchers can train an AI system to recognize facial expressions, body language, and speech patterns to infer a person's emotional state. By analyzing this information, the system can adjust its behavior to better interact with humans. This could have significant implications in fields like healthcare, where machines could be used to comfort patients who are in pain or distress. Another approach to AI theory of mind is using natural language processing, NLP, to analyze human language and infer their beliefs and desires. NLP involves teaching machines to understand the nuances of human language, including syntax, semantics, and context. By analyzing language, an AI system can infer a person's preferences, goals, and intentions, allowing for more personalized recommendations. Imagine asking a machine for restaurant recommendations, and it suggests a place that matches your specific tastes and dietary requirements. Or an AI assistant that can anticipate your needs before you even express them, making your life easier and more convenient. These are just a few examples of the possibilities that AI theory of mind can offer. Despite the exciting potential of AI theory of mind, it's not without its challenges. One of the most significant obstacles is figuring out how to represent the complex, multidimensional nature of human mental states in a way that machines can understand. It's like trying to explain a work of art to someone who's never seen it before. It's a tall order, to say the least. Adding to this difficulty is the fact that mental states are highly context-dependent, and their meaning can change depending on the situation. This means that creating models that can capture the nuances of human mental states is no easy feat. It's like trying to develop a universal translator that can interpret every language and dialect, including all the cultural and social nuances that come with them. Another challenge is the problem of inference. Inferring mental states from behavior and language requires sophisticated algorithms that can reason about uncertain and ambiguous information. This is easier said than done, especially when you consider that people can be deceptive, intentionally or unintentionally. Their behavior and language may not always reflect their true mental states, making it tricky for AA systems to understand what's going on inside their heads. Despite these challenges, AI theory of mind has several potential applications. For example, it can be used to develop more intelligent virtual assistants that can understand and respond to human emotions and intentions. It can also be used to develop more personalized recommendations and advertisements that match a person's preferences and goals. Furthermore, AI theory of mind can be used to improve human-machine collaboration in various fields, 
such as healthcare, education, and entertainment. In conclusion, AI theory of mind is an exciting field that aims to develop machines that can understand human mental states. While it faces several challenges, such as the problem of representation and inference, it has several potential applications in various fields. As AI technology continues to advance, we may see more sophisticated AI systems that can interact with humans in a more human-like way. Thank you for listening to this presentation on Theory of Mind, and I hope you found it informative and thought-provoking. What are your thoughts on this subject? Let us know down in the comments section. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.